What is going on guys? How you doing on this Wednesday, August 2nd, 2023? Thanks for joining me here today for another Metallic episode of Music of Destruction. Coming to you from the MOD Crypt as always, bringing you the best in metal related content on one of the only metal channels you need. Also check out Mordant Red, he's got some pretty killer content, so does Ken's Death Metal Crypt. And uh, yeah, if you missed anything in the past week, click the on the upper right corner of the screen. Get caught up on everything. I'd appreciate it. Remember to hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on the bell for all notifications. Raw fucking intolerance, bringing you only the most elite underground metal possible. If you don't like that, fuck off. Welcome to Album Ranking Wednesdays here on the channel. Tonight we're doing a ranking of a legendary heavy power thrash metal band that I feel really does not need an introduction unless you've been living under a fucking rock. And hey, maybe you're one of those emancipated white belt Spock rocker kids. Hell, I don't fucking know. Anyways, it's Metal Church today for Album Ranking Wednesdays. By the way, rest in peace to Mike Howe and David Wayne, two of the most legendary and vocally versatile frontmen in the history of heavy metal music. Now, the band had different vocalists other than these two, but these two were the most infamous and were in the band of the longest. And now they got the legendary Mark Lopes. To replace Mike Howe, so an obvious choice for Metal Church. I really love their new album, Congregation of Annihilation. I do have to get it. The only one I have right now is The Dark. That will change. This was a huge tragedy for the world of metal when David Wayne passed away in 2005 and then Mike Howe passing in 2021. And these two deaths were felt worldwide by metalheads and it was a terrible time for us. Nonetheless, though, David and Mike, your fucking music lives on with us old school metal heads. All right, let's get into the ranking. Coming in at number 13, we have Generation Nothing, released in 2013 on Rat Pack Records. This is a pretty good Metal Church album. There's a lot of memorable riffs and song structuring and writing. Pretty good uh, instrumentation and lyrics and emotions on this record. Pretty fucking awesome stuff. I really enjoy Generation Nothing. Metal Church does not have a bad album, in my opinion. Generation Nothing is decent, though they do have better releases, but hey, this one comes in at number 13, Generation Nothing. Coming in at number 12, we have Eleven, released in 2016 on Rat Pack Records, or XI, or X1. Uh, Rat Pack Records, once again, picking this one up. This one's a little bit better than Generation Nothing. I do think there was a bit more of a return to form, and they've always had, like, that bit of a lighter side to them, you know, when they do, like, their ballady type stuff, but then it goes on into full heavy metal epics. There is some of that material here, though I just feel like there's better albums than this one, but still, X1 is really good, or... 11 if you prefer uh pretty decent i really enjoy a lot of the songwriting there's some great solo work on here and vocals from mike how etc number 12 x1 coming in at number 11 we have the present wasteland released in 2008 on steam hammer records this is a really good album i think it's got a lot of memorable songs i really enjoy the production on this i enjoy the solo work and the songwriting the lyrics uh, just the song titles on this are amazing as well, and I really appreciate where they were going with this record, both instrumentally, conceptually, and lyrically and emotionally. I think it's got everything that uh, makes it a pretty fucking awesome standout record, number 11, The Present Wasteland. Coming in at number 10, we have Damned If You Do, released in 2018 on Rat Pack Records. This would be uh, the last record we would see from them. Um, before the tragic passing of Mike Howe, and I think this album really set the world on fire. A lot of electricity and energy and high triumphant guitar riffs on this album. There's a lot of power metal and thrash and traditional metal throughout the entire discography. This one had a lot of those elements in place. Uh, songwriting is fucking impeccable, immaculate, amazing, and rest in peace, Mike Howe. You're going to be missed forever, man. Absolutely tragic that we lost him. Coming in at number 9, we have A Light in the Dark, released in 2006 on Steam Hammer Records. Okay, now this would be uh, the album, I believe, when Mike Howe would have first joined the band, unless this one still has David Wayne. I'm not entirely sure. Off the top of my head, please let me know in the comments if Mike Howe did join in 06 or if it was on the album after this, because remember, David Wayne passed away in 2005, so maybe they had this already recorded. I'm pretty sure it's still David Wayne, though. But A Light in the Dark... Uh, amazing record, great songwriting, great production, great fucking riffs, great drums, bass, vocals, lyrics, emotions, con concept art. The album art on this is, is pretty damn awesome. Really love this album, number nine, The Light in the Dark. Coming in at number eight, we definitely have a David Wayne release with The Weight of the World, released in 2004 on Steam Hammer. 
What a powerful record. The weight of the world, exactly what it sounds like. The album cover could be a little bit better. Kind of reminds me of Meshuggah's Chaos Fear in ways, but I really think that the band stepped it up on this album. I feel there's a lot of great songs, a lot of great writing, uh, conceptually very awesome stuff. There's a lot of really powerful emotions coming off this record. Lots of electricity and high triumphant energy and the guitar riffs once again. Yeah, David Wayne fucking rules the weight of the world. Gets number eight. Coming in at number seven, we have Masterpiece, released in 1999 on Nuclear Blast America. Wow. Great record. David Wayne's vocals on here are fucking amazing. Really love this record. Such great writing here. I think that Metal Church have never had a bad album in, in their entire discography. Just some are less stellar than others. And uh, this, this album, Masterpiece, is really fucking great. Uh, there's a lot of really high energy thrash riffing on here com combined with that power-esque metal heavy metal traditional framework and just fucking great stuff here with Masterpiece. It gets number seven. Coming in at number six, we have The Human Factor, released in 1991 on Epic Sony Records. David Wayne's vocals on here, fucking imme immaculate, impeccable, amazing. Uh, guitar riffs are fucking really savage and aggressive. There's a lot of thrash on here, meets power, meets traditional metal, but very thrash metal ish uh, record here. And uh, that production being more organic, a little more raw, I uh, really love The Human Factor. It's fucking amazing, amazing record. It gets number six. Coming in at number five, we have Hanging in the Balance, released in 1993 on Rising Sun Productions. Wow. Great album. David Wayne's vocals, fucking just insane. Uh, amazing, powerful, profound. And, I mean, it's, it's fucking David Wayne, man. There's nothing he can do wrong. And Hanging in the Balance is one of those albums that would see the band keep expanding on what made them great in the 80s and they didn't lose any of that in these 90s albums and I really get a lot of great nostalgic memories from listening to this because this is the first Metal Church album I heard other than The Dark was Hanging in the Balance and I just fucking love this album it's got a lot of nostalgia for me I love the writing the guitar riffs the drums the bass the vocals the emotions the artwork it's fucking awesome number five Hanging in the Balance Coming in at number four, we have Blessing in Disguise, released in 1989 on Electra Records. Another David Wayne masterpiece, fucking brilliant stuff. Um, love everything they did on this album. I think that it was one of their best. And, uh, or wait, no, David Wayne wasn't on this, was he? It was the other vocalist, I think. Uh, th that's the thing, I can't remember who was on this. I'm pretty sure David Wayne, yeah, he left in 88 and came back. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, this is a really good album. Um, great stuff on here. One of the only albums with the other vocalist, or one of the two or the three. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure if it's David Wayne, then it's David Wayne. If it's not, I apologize. There was one other guy, Coney, I believe, or Connie, or something like that. I can't remember the guy's name. But yeah, Blessing in Disguise, fucking killer shit. It gets number four. Coming in at number three, their most recent release in the first album with the legendary Mark Lopes, Congregation of Annihilation, just released this year, 2023, Rat Pack Records. What a brilliant record. This reminds me of their first three albums, okay? Everything about the first three records is in here. It's fucking heavy as hell, aggressive. A breath of fresh air to know that a band like Metal Church, who's been around for so long, has not lost sight of what made them great. And Mark Lopes being a natural choice for to replace Mike Howe. I mean, it, you, it still sounds like David Wayne and Mike Howe. It, it sounds exactly the same. Uh, it's just an incredible record. I'm definitely buying this one. I want to get all of Metal Church's stuff. They're one of my favorite bands. And this is just fucking killer. Everything about Congregation of Annihilation is a masterpiece. Go and check it out if you haven't heard it. Guess number three. Coming in at number two, the self-titled Metal Church, released in 1984 on Ground Zero Records. What an album. The debut. Very fast, aggressive, power-esque metal with thrash and a bit of that of obviously heavy metal framework, but just fucking incredible. Electric, organic, there's a lot of raw production on here. A more organic feel, but yeah, just fucking the debut. It's a classic. Guess number two. Go listen to it if you haven't heard it. Coming in at number one, The Dark, released in 1986 on Electra Records. Uh, my favorite Metal Church album. I blast this album at least two or three times a week. So powerful, so profound. David Wayne is a fucking maniac on this record. The instrumentation, the production, the lyrical themes. This is a very dark album, hence it being titled The Dark. Probably their darkest release next to some of their later ones and the mid-90s ones like Congregation of Annihilation, their new one as well. Uh, but just fucking it's the dark man. It's legendary This was the first metal church album I heard back in 86 and it remains a masterpiece to this day 
it gets number one. I apologize if I got one of the vocalist names wrong for one of the albums there with 1989. I'm not sure if it was David Wayne or the other guy. So please let me know in the comments who it was because I don't know off the top of my head. I know that David Wayne and Mike House switched places a lot. And I know there were two other, two or three other guys that came in at certain times. So you just got to let me know. If you know more about it than I do, please let me know in the comments. Hail the fucking underground. All right, guys, there you have it. Another album ranking in the books here on the channel. Hope you enjoyed today's premiere. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Turn on the bell for all notifications. Let me know uh, in the comments if there's anything that uh, you, what you liked here. Anyway, merchandise available. Go to the homepage. Click the store tab. Everything you need is there. Janelle working on new merch. She also designed the set. I really appreciate everything she's done for this channel. She's been a big help. Thanks a lot. I love you, baby. Uh, join the channel, become an MLD Elite, get great perks, $249 for your first month, $499 thereafter. Hit that join button. There's a list that will come up on your screen, as well as a video explaining what the perks are. Pretty simple. Review requests within reasons. Uh, collaborations if you have a metal YouTube channel. Uh, exclusive content for members. Members only live streams. And band promotions and interviews. All that cool shit. Thank you guys for watching. Have an awesome night. We'll see you tomorrow for my vinyl collection live stream and then I'll be getting back into doing my top 15s and next Thursday will be my top 15 al metal album logos so look forward to that one cheers guys hail the fucking underground we'll see you later